All right, let's say that you have your six logos done. Right, I have four here, but you're going to have six, at least six. You can have more. Um, I want to see two things when you document this on your website. One, I want to see this document that has all six. So you can do File, Save for Web. Um, we don't want to do a GIF or JIF. We want to do a uh, JPEG for this one. And we're going to hit save. And then what you want to do is save to your Google Drive, right? I'm going to save to desktop. You're going to save to Google Drive. I'm going to save mine under my personal logo folder. You should have one called web, right? Web for uploading to the web. And I'm going to turn this off so that we can actually see the extension, right? So if that's check marked right down there, uncheck that. So we're JPEG. And then we can call this, um, that's fine, right? Just leave it like that with the JPEG at the end and hit save. So that's going to give us our work in progress thing. But we also need your final logo. So I want to see your ideas and then I want to see the one that you're going to use as your final design. So in this one, I don't know, let me just pick one. I'll pick this one because my cursor is already there. Let me just highlight that. I'm going to copy that one, Command C. I'm going to create a new document. Okay. Um, for the profile, I'm just going to do web. And then whatever one pops up, I'm going to click OK, which is fine. It doesn't really matter. But web gives us the right settings that we need. I'm going to paste it. Command F, which means paste in front. But it also means kind of paste it in the same spot here. Let's see what happened to it. Oops. Maybe not. Command Z, Command V. Let's just paste it regular. Command V will be fine. All right, so that gets us in our document. I can minus out. You can see it. Here's the thing that we want to do on this version. This version we want to have transparent. So in Illustrator, if you remember, this white background is paper. It's actually not white. It's, it's paper. But if we save this as a JPEG, JPEG doesn't allow for transparency. Transparency is see-through, right? JPEG doesn't allow for that. So, what we need to do is save it as a PNG. And we want to get rid of all this extra white. So I'm going to show you how we can do that really easily. So we're going to do File, Save for Web. We want to change from JPEG to PNG24. All right. And I see one error I have right here. Or maybe not an error, but as far as my design, you see all these checkers, right? That means see-through. But I don't want the space between MacLab to be see-through, so I'm going to cancel that really quick. I'm going to make this, instead of no-fill, white. All right, I'm going to do this again. File, save for web, change this from JPEG to PNG24. I want to get rid of all this extra space. So right here where it says clip to artboard, uncheck that. We have another error, all right? So this is good, so I can explain why this is. This right here, why we have this space below is because the words are creating a text box that go below. So we're gonna cancel out again. We're gonna click on what you've typed, all right? And this is a good habit anyways. Let me explain it really quick. So this font, Big John, that I used, when you send this to a print shop, right? let's say you're getting some shirts designed with your logo. This step I'm going to show you, you always want to do because the chances of the print shop having Big John, which I downloaded off the internet, are slim to none. So they won't have that font, so it's going to revert to the default font. It's going to look awful. So the very technical way of doing this, like if you work for a company, is you package the font, we do all that. We don't have time for that. This is the cheap, easy, low down, dirty way of doing it. We're going to take this type and turn it into a shape so it's no longer type. So we're going to go up. We have our selection tool, right? We click on the type. We go to type. And we want to choose create outlines. And you notice now, you can see these anchor points that is now those are now shapes instead of letters, okay? So now when we do File, Save for Web, now you can see it cut off that extra space. We're going to change from JPEG to PNG24. There's a little bit at the top. I'm not going to worry about it. It's not important enough to worry about. I'm going to click 
save and in your web folder inside of Google Drive you can just call that logo make it nice and easy PNG logo we're gonna upload that to your website later on click save and you're good